Hi, and welcome back to English with Fliss. Today we'll be looking at Aussie slang and focusing on the letter S. But before we continue, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell. So, a sanger is a sandwich. So you might say, I'm going to have a sanger for lunch or a toasted sanger in this case. Savo means this afternoon. So, the savo, I'm going to the shops. So, the savo, savo. Sati just means Saturday. I'm going to come see you on Saturday. Schooner is a 425 milliliter drink. So usually a beer um, or soft drink in a pub. Um, a scorcher is like a really hot day, usually above, not to me, I don't know, 30 degrees. Might be, might be more for others. I'm not really sure. So usually 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, so we'll just say, oh, today's a scorcher or tomorrow's going to be a scorcher. To skull means to drink your, um, to drink your drink really quickly. So you're going to skull. If I had my drink bottle here, I would skull my bottle of water. And I, that would mean I drank the whole thing really quickly because I was really thirsty. Uh, seedy means to feel unwell. Usually we describe that from being hungover. Um, but you can be seedy, not due to alcohol. Um, you can just be feeling seedy because you are. Uh, a servo is a petrol station, petrol service station. We just call it the servo. I'm just going to run down the servo, fill my car up. A Sheila is just a girl, a woman, just a female. She'll be right means it's okay. Like if someone says, oh, will you need help carrying... That washing basket, you might say, oh, she'll be right. So anyone can say it, like guys have said it, guys say it, she'll be right. We don't usually say he'll be right. It's just she'll be right. It's okay. Um, a shindig is a party. So, oh, did you see, I don't know, Mari's having a shindig on Saturday night. So it just, just means party. To shoot through just means I'm going to leave quickly. So, all right, well, I'm going to shoot through, meaning I'm going to leave now. Oh, sick. It's just an exclamation, meaning awesome, cool, yeah, sick. Um, a sicky is usually referred to as a sick day. Um, you could genuinely be ill and not go to work because you're sick. So I'm having a sicky. Usually the term is used um, when people pull a sicky, which means, or they chuck a sicky, which means that they've faked being sick so they don't have to go to work or school so they've chucked a sickie pulled a sickie um, but you can definitely have a regular sickie where you're actually sick a regular sick day um, to skip or skipping means to um, not go to let's say class so if you're a student a student of mine might have skipped my english class which means that they were meant to be in that room period four, but they weren't, they skipped it and I don't know, went down the street instead, which is very naughty. So skip or skipping class, you could skip work too, I suppose. Um, a slab is just a big carton of usually alcohol. We can have slabs of Coke and those sorts of things, but usually when people say, can you go pick up a slab? It means alcohol because it's Australian for some reason, it's just a really popular thing to drink. Anyway, um, I Googled it and according to Google, it's about nine liters of beer or 24 stubbies, which are bottles or cans. Um, a slacker is similar to what a bludger is. If you haven't seen bludger, go check out my Aussie slang B video. Um, so a slacker, someone who's basically lazy, they don't do much work, whether it be at home, school, or just anywhere, they're just a lazy person. Smoko um, is just usually just refers to a break. Um, me as a non-smoker, I would never call a break smoko just because I've always associated smoko to mean a smoker's break. So it can mean either. So usually a smoko is where smokers take a break to have a smoke and they take many breaks and they're 
for some reason they get paid for them when they shouldn't be doing that whatever um it's happened a lot in hospitality jobs that I've worked in in the past where lots of people had smokers but um I found in trades though like electrical plumbing you know sort of trades like that um they often refer to those breaks as smoker. I don't know if it's because most tradies smoke. I don't know. That's a stereotype. Um, I don't think it means that. I think they just refer to it as smoker because it's pretty casual and tradies are pretty laid back, casual people, tradies, tradesmen. Okay. Um, a snag is a sausage, um, but you can also say, I know I've definitely used it. Um, I'm going to snag. I'm going to snag me a bag of chips or it just means you're going to quickly grab a bag of chips. I'm going to snag that, you know, so, um, so snag sausage, put some snags on the barbecue. Um, a sook, I used sook once to someone who English was their second language. And they said, what, what does sook mean? You said he was having a sook. (laughs) Um, so basically if I said he's having a sook, it just means someone who complains a lot about insignificant things or just gets upset really easily. So they're whining about something. So he's having a sook. Doesn't necessarily refer to a baby, but we can say the baby's being sooky today. Um, yeah, so it just means someone who complains a lot about insignificant things or just upsets really easily. Um, spesh is just short for special. You might go, oh, that's a bit spesh. You know, you're just saying, oh, it's special. Uh, if you're spewing, doesn't mean you're, you're throwing up. It just means you are really upset about something. So let's talk about this lady in the photo. Let's say maybe she loves really, really nice knitted jumpers and she just found out she paid full price for that jumper and now it has 75% off and she's spewing that she paid full price. She's really upset about it. She's like, damn it. So that's how we would use the word spewing. You're like upset or annoyed about something. Um, a sticky beak is just someone who is being nosy. They might be eavesdropping on people. Yeah, just having a sticky beak. Um, a stinker just, again, refers to a really hot day. Oh, it's a stinker today. Just really hot. A stirrer is someone who deliberately causes trouble. Um so you could say, oh, you're such a stirrer. Usually people use the S swear word in front of that. So they say, oh, you're such an S stirrer. Um, but yeah, someone deliberately causes trouble um, just to annoy people. Usually stirrers are harmless, but, you know, annoying people is not a nice thing to do. Um, Struth, it's just another exclamation similar to crikey. Um, we usually say it when someone's surprised about something. Oh, struth. Um, a stubby, as I said before, is just a glass beer bottle. Just as you see in this picture, we refer to that as a stubby. And a stubby holder is the little Australian flag holder that you see around the stubby. That's our stubby holder to prevent our hands getting wet, cold, or prevent the drink from slipping from our grasp. Um, Stuffed can have two meanings. So stuffed, this girl on the left, she's just gone for a really long run and now she's stuffed. So she's really tired. She's exhausted or stuffed. The guy on the right, he has overeaten. He's really full. He is stuffed. Sunday just refers to Sunday. Oh, I'm going to go see you on Sunday. Oh, I'm busy Saturday and Sunday. Um, Sunnies are sunglasses. A swag is um, what you see here. It's just like a mini, it's like a mini tent slash big sleeping bag. It's like a, yeah, just as you see here. I don't know how to explain it, (laughs) but that is a swag. Um, And to swipe is the same as nicked. So, you know, oh, he swiped my, he swiped my wallet. So he stole He stole your wallet. And that's everything for the S's. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.